is the key to success during this phase of reopening. Right now, the key is feeling confident, starting with the leadership. Like, I gotta feel confident on the protocols that we created to being safe and going back to work safe and making sure we're safe, I'm safe, my team is safe, and for sure, consequently, our patients are safe. And once we gain confidence from our team, I know that they're gonna transfer this to our patient. I'm very confident that this is gonna be transferred because it is our priority, right? They feel it with us that this is all from the beginning, like it, it became our obsession on understanding exactly what is it, how does the virus work, and how can we keep everyone safe move by move. Hello everyone, this is Inspired Tuesday. This is my weekly vlog for all of you that have been following me. I started the vlog to add value to my team and I decided to share it with you and hope to add value and motivate you too. So since the coronavirus pandemic, I decided to change the format of the vlog and focus only on the coronavirus subject because I've been receiving so many questions on the subject. So all I'm doing now since the pandemic is to answer questions. So today I'll answer three questions again. I'll do two questions, then bring one quote and then one more question. I really hope this is helpful to you. Question number one is, what do you think is the key su to success during this phase of reopening? For me, it's uh, totally related to confidence, right? Right now, the key is feeling confident, starting with the leadership. Like, I gotta feel confident on the protocols that we created to being safe and going back to work safe and making sure we're safe, I'm safe, my team is safe, and for sure, consequently, our patients are safe. So this is why I think it starts with the leadership and then right away the team. So if you remember, people are not stupid. They know genuinely if the leaders, like if the person is just saying things because when action comes, it's very clear on what is the leader's priority and what is the, that is gonna become the whole team priority, right? And once we gain confidence from our team, I know that they're gonna transfer this to our patient. I'm very confident that this is gonna be transferred because it is our priority, right? They feel it with us that this is all from the beginning, like it, it became our obsession on understanding exactly what is it? How does the virus work? And how can we keep everyone safe move by move, starting at the front desk, the patient in the car, how we're gonna check the temperature, who is gonna go, how is it gonna be, what is the PPE that is gonna be using for every single stage? What is the front desk gonna say? What is the front desk gonna do? Like all these things has been trained and once they're like, oh, it's all thought through. Yes, so they are feeling confident. And you know, it's very important to gain the confidence of your team and consequently your, your patients or your customers, depending on whatever industry you are, you know, um, you work at. Because I'm part of um, a group of dentists from all over the world on Facebook and many different other, other platforms. And I can see how hard it is when the team is not there to back up the leader. Like they are not, you know, in the same page they're having a very hard time, especially now. And, you know, and that's what I feel my blessing, you know, to have the team all in there feeling the same way and feeling safe to go back and all engaged and ready, you know, to, to return in a very slow pace because this is what it takes to be safe, you know, with all the measures that we're taking. But, you know, everybody is feeling and, and we feel like we're all on the same page. So... I literally believe that right now, the key to success, this is your five-star review right there. You know, patients know what genuinely you are all about. If you really care about them and care about your team, they're gonna feel it. Because again, all of a sudden, I don't think that dentistry or 
people's teeth that nobody cares anymore. It's not about that, but people want to feel safe. Yes, they want to have their teeth. Yes, they want to come in and see the dentist, but they want to make sure that they have their act together. Is Am I going to be really safe during this pandemic going to the dentist? And it's you know up to us into the team to show this to them and make them feel that way. So it starts with us. We got to feel like this so we can pass it on to other people like to our patients so they you know so they feel the same way for me this is gonna be right now the key to any anybody's success is confidence bringing that confidence in and passing on passing it on to your patients your customers whoever you see it and so this is question number one question number two is what do you expect to be the main challenges during the first week back to work you know, deep inside, I'm very happy to be back to dentistry. You know, I love dentistry. I love my patients. This is the longest I've been out of not practicing dentistry. Even when I had my maternity leave was shorter than this period of time that I've been away from doing dentistry. So I am very happy to be back. But of course, right, I know there's is going to be challenging. And for any of you that are going back to, you know, expect that because it's a change and changes are challenging. It doesn't mean, you know, it, we cannot do it. It's just challenging. Like I have heard it's not only in our industry that it's going to be challenging. Like, for example, for us, we're going to be wearing an N95, then another mask on top of it, then the loops, then the face shield, the gloves, the gown. That's a lot of things like, of course, as a dentist, we've always worn a mask, but not an N95, a respirator, right? And not a face shield on top of that with the loops and the light on top of it. Like there's way too many things going on, but we're going to adjust. What I've been hearing is like even um, in Dallas, when they first opened hair stylist there, I heard that because it's being required for the customers to wear a mask, Two of them passed out. Like there's this one salon that report, I read the report because they felt claustrophobic on you know, all these things on their face. And some people are not used to wear masks. And I remember when I was in dental school, like the first week that we wear gloves, it's lit, like we don't even know what we're touching. And that's the same thing that this hairdresser said, I was trying to cut the hair and I was cutting the glove. You know, make sure if you're wearing a glove, always if you wanna do detail work, always wear one that is really tight. Yes, again, it's uncomfortable. And when I first started wearing a very tight glove, I thought I couldn't feel my, my hand, but then later on you get used to it. So now it's gonna be all this adapting time, going back to work. It's for us to expect that in any industry that you're going through, but you know, it's still very important. First, it's for your own safety, for your customers. You follow the rules, follow, you know, all the guidelines from CDC and uh, you know even if you can go even above and beyond we are way above what CDC is asking for us to do or even ADA because this is how we feel safe It's back to how we feel safe we want to be above that because we want to feel safe so everybody else feeling safe too anyway hang in there you know we're gonna have to go through this challenging of adapting to all this PPE or all this way of talking to people you know, and having to deal with everybody back to work, but I'm still very happy to be back, even though I know it's going to be challenging. So that's question number two. A quote from Charles Darwin, it's not the strongest or the most intelligent who will survive, but those who can best manage change. Question number three is, what is your main concern on the first week back to work? Okay, um, I have actually a, like a few concerns. First, there is so many new things, right? Like for example, our patients are gonna stay outside in one of the clinics in the parking lot, but the one in Seattle, it's outside a building. And we're gonna go, uh, luckily we're in the, you know, the street floor, the street level. So it's gonna be um, easier to go out and check the temperature outside of our patients and there's all these new things like the questions you're going to do so we allocated enough time for every procedure 
that will take like we increase the amount of time that it takes and all this waiting but i've always hated to run behind right i like to be right on time for my patients but with all these new things yeah one of my concerns is like you know if you end up running behind the other patient is gonna be have to waiting outside can i get in because of the social distancing so i i'm wondering like you know i'm okay with the time but I really hope that this is not gonna be any issue. So that's my concern is like, literally I hate to run behind and I hope this is not gonna happen, but this is why it is a concern. Um, the second is like, you know how, for example, you hear all over the United States, people getting so upset about the, like at the new norms, this new normal that I've seen people kill each other for using masks. It's literally like out of, the ordinary what's going on with in some places i feel like a lot of people are on edge already because of so many things going on and so this is my concern is like i hope everyone is gonna understand like we've had in the past patients come in as a walk-in they were welcome they will wait and we'll see them in between patients right now we can only see patients by appointments just to enforce the social distancing it's safer so you know all this changes i hope it's not gonna be inconvenience and disturbing to anyone and there's gonna be understanding of course it all depends on how you convey the message to your patients and everyone else but this is like more of my concern like you know there's way too many changes and people may get upset or not i hope not but we gotta do what we gotta do we have to be safe and you know protect everybody else and uh, like all the patients that are there so we have to go with the rules so those are my concerns and um here we go those are the three questions today i hope they added value to you and it was helpful you please keep sending the dms I'll, i'm gonna keep doing this i've been receiving a lot of you know positive feedback uh on the questions and I think like this is a, a hot topic right now that people are more interested in listening on this than anything else so I'll keep doing this as long as it's helping because this is all in here to add value to you anyways so uh, keep sending them messages and I'm very grateful for your audience and until next time my friends stay safe stay healthy and stay optimistic I'll see you guys next week bye, -bye.